These are the things that Canva dropped today. They've got your entire workflow in one place. This is part of the Canva Visual Studio 2.0 upgrade, where finally you can do different types of designs in the same design. So you can have a presentation, a document, all that type of things in one design without hopping back and forth. And apparently you can actually change sizes now. So you can have multiple sizes of things in one design. Thank the maker for this. I've really wanted the size feature for a while. It's one thing that I love about Illustrator that I've not liked about Canva. Then you've got Canva Sheets, and I'm gonna go into it here in a minute towards the end of this video where, yeah, you guessed it, we get spreadsheets in Canva. <laughs> I didn't ask for this, but I'm happy we have it, I think. So we'll see what that looks like. It's not gonna have all the features that are in Excel. If you need a legit spreadsheet, you're gonna need to use a legit spreadsheet, but pretty cool nonetheless, and it'll only get better. Then we've got Magic Studio at scale, kind of what I was talking about there. Um, they, they went through some product demos. Uh, this is combining the Visual Studio 2.0 with the Sheets uh, release. It's some interesting stuff. It's more like bulk create on steroids, in my opinion. Then we've got transform data into charts with magic charts. So we've got more charts and stuff. They had a whole data centric presentation in today's Canva create event. We've got create with AI, which is empowering AI to be more intuitive and accessible inside of Canva. This is what you don't need to sleep on. This is just going to continue to get better and better in Canva natively and in the apps that are created for it. Uh, then we've got code with Canva. So we're using AI and can inside of Canva to code. So they walk through some demos with some people who admittedly don't know anything about code and they're creating some beautiful stuff. I hop into this at the first part of this video coming up next. We create a little landing page. It's great. It's got some editing quirks to it that I haven't figured out yet, but you know, this is really good. It's using Tailwind CSS for those designers or if you know a little bit about code. It's going to be good for people who are very non-technical, especially. This is going to be, this is my opinion, this is going to be baked into software across the board. A couple more years go by and this is going to be standard. Canva's ahead of the game or, you know, in par with the game uh, with these other chat models like the LLMs you're seeing with ChatGPT and with Claude and Gemini. They're just phenomenal at spitting out code. Now, I did notice Canva is a little bit slow on the code generation. You can see that. Skip ahead in the video, watch that part. But, you know, it's only going to get better. Check out a couple of the features as I go through the AI and the coding stuff. Just a first look here in a minute and then the spreadsheets toward the end. What do you think about all this? Let me know in the comments below. What would you like me to make a more in-depth, feature-rich video about? Because I am uh, in on the release. So all these things right now say coming soon. If you're one of the first million people to click on the little envelopes in the header part of the Canva homepage, then you have access to this. And I have access to this. So let me know if... <laughs> How long you think that's going to last? I'm curious if that's like a just a little quirk for today and if it's a launch to the world tomorrow or what. Anyway, enjoy the video. Check it out. Got this new unlock for Canva. You wished we granted so many big surprises. Happy designing. We could skip to the end, but we won't because that's all there is to it. Now, what do we have? Well, up here at the top, First of all, you can see that we've got the regular old your designs templates, but now we've got Canva AI. Canva AI is the new little feature. Well, one of the new features, and it's probably not little. They are at least touting it as a real big thing. One of the four big pillars of feature releases from their Canva Create event today. So you can basically say what you want and it'll just spit out some stuff for you, right? So let's let's say, hey, um, let's do what we did with Manus AI the other day. Hey Canva, I need a new landing page for myself, Eamon Cottrell. It should have a header section or a hero section rather, a newsletter section and an about me section. All right, let's just see how it handles this. 
and it's going to do a landing page design for Amy Cottrell. Let me think. We should be very familiar with this type of setup at this point. This is basically what you're going to see if you're in Claude or in ChatGPT. <laughs> and again, sometimes you'll see this too, right? Sorry, that didn't quite work. Hang tight. Try resending your message. Okay, well, let's try it out here. Ask anything. I mean, I imagine that they're flooded right now. The event just happened. So everybody is trying this type of stuff out. I'll skip over and look at something else if this actually doesn't work, but oh, it's working. Okay. So what are we doing here? We are using Tailwind. So I didn't specify anything, but it is out of the gate going to be using some Tailwind CSS. It's using the CDN version. So that is what I actually asked Manus AI to use when I did this myself the other day using a general AI agent. And I gave it a lot more information than I've given Canva. That's one of the things that I actually regretted is that I gave it too much information. So let's see how Canva build this, builds this out. This is not a difficult project. So if you know anything about code, and I do, it is just building out a basic, uh, it's not going to let me scroll up here, apparently, while it's still building, but it's building just a basic section and div um, homepage where we've got this about section right here. And then we've got divs underneath it. I mean, this is just laid out like any basic little page and it's got tons of styling in here from Tailwind CSS, which is good. And I didn't give it any brand colors. I didn't give it any copy or anything. So it is, let's just read what it's doing here. I'm passionate about creating meaningful experiences and sharing knowledge with others. Okay, so it's using AI terminology. I mean, I would have to change all this, but you know, it's given me something to work with. When not working, you can find me exploring new technologies, reading books on certain topics, enjoying outdoor activities. So real generic stuff. And that's fine because what I'm interested in is the speed of creation, the technology tools that it's using to create all of this, and ultimately the final result. Like what's it actually going to look like? And is it going to look extremely uh, templated or basic? Or are we going to have some interesting personality and originality to this? I don't know. Let's see. So it's down here on the footer. And what it's doing right now is it's actually uh, giving some copyright text, which it's the wrong year. So it's using 2023 for some reason. But then uh, like right here, it's creating some SVG elements. So these are going to be little icons for I would assume social icons that it's putting down there in the footer. And hey, check it out. So it's built it. Here we go. This is pretty good. So we've got stay updated. I didn't ask it for this section, but it gave it to me anyway. Down here, um, we've got those social icons. In fact, that I was telling you about that is accurate. We've got my name, we've got a wrong year, but then we've got these about links that they just go to the different sections of our homepage. So it's one page, it's a landing page. There's, there's not any, um, separate pages to it. But if you click the about section or the home section, or the home buttons up here in the navigation bar, or down here in the footer, it'll uh, warp you up to that part of the page you're on. All right. So out of the gate, this is quite, quite good. Um, this made us a design. Let's see what else we can do here. Uh, version one reset using a design. Okay, so it is just going to it's not going to let me toggle the code, it looks like. I wonder why that is. So I don't see anywhere where I can toggle the code. Right over here, I've got this button, uh, sort of like an artifact in Claude or a, a canvas in ChatGPT, where it opens this up on the sidebar. If I X that out, it goes away. If I click this, it comes back. Uh, interesting that it doesn't let me actually edit the HTML. Uh, we've got a download resume button right here. Okay, that's that's interesting. So I'm not going to ask it to make changes right now. I'm going to just click the use in a design button and see what this does. So now we've got this in a design. And what is this? A, a screenshot? So how do I interact with this? Okay, so if I double click, it lets me scroll up and down. 
and it looks like these are still, yeah, so it's like letting me interact with this as though it is a web page. Let's see how I can edit this though. How do I edit this? Whoops, go back, go back, editing, making changes, view only. Okay, so I can interact with this, but it's not letting me, and maybe it's because I've never built with uh, a website with Canva before in this interface. I don't, I don't know the basics. I'm too advanced for this basic stuff. I don't know basically how to edit these things. I can preview it as a web page. That's cool. We can publish it. Um, Amon one, and let's just Include navigation menu? No, let's resize on mobile, publish settings, publish website. All right, so let's publish this and then we gotta get back in here and change the copy. The whole point of this is to be able to, to edit the copy, right? All right, so here it's opening up in a new uh, tab. Here's our site. So just like that, we went live. However, we don't have, you know, we don't have a good image here. We don't have the right links none of that stuff. Let's open up our Explorer. We can see that we've got one big div, the root, and then we can open these up. Let's just uh, inspect this real quick. Yeah, we can open this up and it's all this stuff nested deeply into the page. So, you know, it's a giant mess to look at the code, the way that they built it, the way that they've had to nest it, but that's okay. It was super easy to get to this point. Now, how do we edit the details here? If you continue to edit, you'll need to publish again to update your website. Yes, this is good. Let us go to edit design. Uh, da, da, da. I feel as though I'm missing something important here. Let's go back here. Let's just ask it, how can I make edits to the information in this design, in this HTML code? Pray tell, tell me good AI agent, how shall I do this? One moment, please. Replacing the placeholder text with your personal detail. Well, yeah, I know that, but it's not letting me edit this. Uh, yes, please explain. When I click those elements and type, nothing changes. Let's pull up the docs and see what it says. Let's see, can't directly edit. Oh, okay. You can't directly edit in the chat interface. Let me explain how to make changes. Copy the entire code, everything between the tags, paste it into an editor. Oh, so this is, you know, people are not gonna wanna do this. All right, so that's interesting. So I guess there's some more bugs they're gonna have to work out of that because that's not gonna fly. The whole point of this is to make non-technical people be able to ex access this. Let's go back to the home page now. Are you still stuck doing manual tasks that you should have automated a year ago? Gottsheet is my free weekly newsletter that I created for solopreneurs and marketers like you to help automate, grow, and scale their businesses without having to hire a team. It's free, it's actionable, and it lands in your inbox every week. Subscribe below, gotsheet.xyz, link is in the description. Now, I wanna see sheets. So we've got a sure enough spreadsheet inside Canva. Magically transform data, share and collaborate. Okay, so this is like, oh. It's not a spreadsheet if you don't have sequence. Come on now. All right, what do we have? Magic formulas, all functions. All right, so we've got a fair amount of functions in here. Certainly not everything that we need to have though. Is there a way to open this up? Sequence of numbers from one to 100. Let's see what it does. We can't support this request yet. Huh. Return a sequence of numbers from one to 100. 
So the magic formulas may not work yet. Let's see what it comes up with here. Okay, it doesn't. That's okay. That's okay. And cells A1 through A100, I want the numbers one through 100. How about that? Is that specific enough for you? No, it's not. That's okay. Generate a table so we can open up different apps using these actions. It looks like these are indeed, looks like these are indeed linked to apps. Magic charts is right here. Let me know if you want to see a video on this and what you want. What do you want sheets in Canva to do? I'm not sure the use case for myself for this because I'm so ingrained in the uh, Google Sheet and Excel world, but this is uh, for sure a lightweight sheet inside of Canva. It doesn't have all the formulas and functions, but it does have some, you know, it's got some. I like the formatting. So the formatting and of course the, uh, the fonts and stuff, they're gonna be, this is a designer's friendly, a designer friendly spreadsheet. We got zoom in and out. Uh, we can scroll by holding down the shift key and the mouse wheel uh, horizontally back and forth like that. We can select all. Yeah, I mean, this is good. Oh, look, we even got shift space bar, select all of that row and control space bar doesn't work, but shift space, to, space bar does. Uh, we got magic charts. I need data for that. Uh, grid lines. Hey, this is, this is interesting. I'll, I'll give them that. Very interesting. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I will do an actual full featured video on these new features. Just wanted to get a first look out at it and see what we've got in store with these new updates from Canva 2025. Subscribe, like the video, all those things. You're awesome.